Well, hey guys, so it is another day here in Chicago. I just finished my talk, it went really well. Everyone gave me a look at the feedback. My talk is on YouTube as an educational source for dermatology. if and when that day will ever come. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? Um, but I'm just back here in the room. Housekeeper is here, so that is who is in the background. But skincare update. Last night, um, I tried, yesterday I got a sample of the Cetaphil makeup remover wipes, and I tried them out. So I'll show you guys the clip from that. All right, so I'm gonna give these Cetaphil cleansing cloths a little <laughs> try here. <laughs> But the only sunscreen that I have been applying today and reapplying is the Elta MD UV Clear. So they, there really isn't like any tint to take off. But then I'm wearing my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. And so, yeah, I gotta say the Cetaphil wrap was not particularly helpful because I was trying to ask her like, is this, are these, is what's in the wipe the same thing as the Cetaphil makeup? makeup remover and she's like I don't know I was just yeah she Galderma I don't know what's going on but she was not the brightest crown in the box this has water acetyl alcohol which is a moisturizer which is moisturizing propylene glycol which is a humectant sodium laurel sulfate okay tear up and pack it Gently wipe your face, including eye area, to remove makeup and impurities. There is no need to rinse. I disagree with that. I don't think you want to leave detergent on your skin. I disagree with that. Um, I think you would definitely want to double cleanse. I am going to, um, when I'm in the shower, I'm going to use the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser, which we all know is not great. This is a, this is a creamy one, I think. Maybe it's not. It has masking fragrance in it. So neither neither of these are great. But let's see how good the wipes do. Really the test here is the, the mascara. This is waterproof mascara. So Yeah, I didn't bring my Kosi cleansing oil because the bottle's too big. I didn't, I didn't have time to aliquot it. So we're just going to try this out here. And, you know, I'm kind of minimalistic with what I bring to these meetings because I know that there are tons of, like, there's a lot of samples of stuff. So, rather than weigh my suitcase down with my usual skincare routine, I just kind of wing it. <laughs> I just make sure I have, I just make sure I have sunscreen. That's the only thing I care about. And, of course, my mascara. They're not going to be giving out mascara at something like this. Alright, it's, it's actually doing a pretty good job. Not too bad. But yeah, I mean, the wrap was it was totally clueless as to the ingredients in this. I was like, is it the same? Um, are the ingredients the same as what's in the Cetaphil uh, makeup remover, just on a white? And she's like, I don't know. I mean, and it's not as though she had a massive stockpile of stuff that she had to... To talk about there I mean she really literally she, she, all she had all she was responsible for was a candy dish full of these little of the Cetaphil cleansing wipes <laughs> and that was her sole responsibility and she couldn't tell me that I mean Galderma who are you hiring um, she she was not doing a very good job I was early enough in the day that um, she shouldn't have been fatigued so I don't know. Kind of reminded me of that episode of Will and Grace where Jack uh, gets demoted. He, he's like working at Barney's and he gets demoted to uh, perfumes atomizer. <laughs> he has to sample the perfume and he feels so, you know, down on himself. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Galderma demoted her to uh, cleansing wipe sampler. <laughs> so not too bad. I think Cetaphil... Cetaphil is much better than the than the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. You guys will remember when I tried those those disasters out. But the best micellar water out there, the only one that I like is the is the Bioderma Sensio Bio one. The, the rest of them suck. So yeah, it did an okay job taking the makeup off. I was gonna use the Cetaphil 
cleanser to do the second step as I verbalized last night, but I couldn't get the packet open. So I wound up, I also had a sample of the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, which I should have just used from the beginning. CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser generally works pretty well at getting off water resistant makeup and sunscreen by itself. So I ended up using that and did just fine, but the makeup wipes were pretty nice, pretty gentle, but I wouldn't leave leave that be feeling behind on the skin. Anyways, uh, what else can I update you guys on? Oh, another thing I also used last night. So you guys know I have a background history of atopic dermatitis, commonly referred to as eczema. And whenever I'm in a new environment or the ambient humidity drops, it tends to flare. And we're not in Houston anymore, although it's not, it's not as though Chicago is dry by any means, but just in comparison to the swamp, uh, it's, it's a little drier. And that in combination with that Kennet MD body wash stuff uh, really dried out my skin. And by the end of the conference yesterday, my skin was like really itchy. Uh, just from being in, I think from being in the air conditioning and everything. This, but anyways, long story short, I had a sample of the CeraVe uh, lotion with Promoxine in it, their anti-itch one. Nipped it in the butt immediately. Travel. But anyways, I'm wearing, I've got a different shirt on today. Um, gray. And my, I'm loving this jewelry. <laughs> it really, it's really cute. But yeah, the talks have been really good and I've really been enjoying myself. So I'm gonna head out now and get a little lunch and I will take you guys along. But I have to tell you, people in Chicago are really friendly. Yesterday I went into yesterday I went into Trader Joe's to buy an apple. And uh, the the checkout person com complimented my Totoro socks. <laughs> No, I'm not wearing the same pair. I have multiple pairs of Totoro socks. <laughs> option they mostly just had cake and sweets <laughs> so I found another protein bar that is actually open so maybe I can get my cauliflower rice fix in here <laughs> I love these kinds of places let's go in and see their menu Ooh, it's pretty in here The Korean bowl and they um, allowed me to substitute tofu for the steak and it's got cucumbers and carrots and spinach and then they claim to have the cauliflower rice in here but oh yep there it is I don't know so there we go and then there was a special dressing that came with it but I asked for it on the side <laughs> and we got some water I was not impressed. It was like three tablespoons of rice cauliflower and it wasn't cooked properly. <laughs> uh, oh well, at least I tried and it was moderately successful, but I don't recommend protein bars rice cauliflower. Uh, yes, I know Trader Joe's has rice cauliflower and rice broccoli, but I just want Costco to get my Taylor Farms back. Look 
at this cool building, building spot, the wit. This must be a hotel. It's got this green zigzag going up at stained glass. It's pretty. Chicago has some really, really amazing architecture. Buildings are really unique. A lot of history behind the architecture here. When I was in, um, I can't remember, probably 10 or 15 years ago, I read The Devil in White City. It's an okay book, but it's really, I really got into it more because it talks about a lot of the architecture in Chicago. And when I was reading it at the time, it made me want to visit Chicago. The World's Fair sounded cool back then. <laughs> That's a, it, it's an entertaining read, but I wouldn't say it's like that great of a, a book per se, but it is a good, good read. like C's candies, but a Chicago thing, chocolate. I think it's Chicago. Could be mis mistaken on that. Good news, I was able to get my water bottle back. Un untouched. <laughs> I wanted a child's water bottle from Costco. There it is. My win for not losing it. This thing has been a lifesaver. Well, hey guys, what's up? I'm back in my room. And I just filled up my water bottle in the lobby. They have infused waters where they have a little thing that floats fruit into the water. And this is pineapple. It's really nice. Oh, and it's nice and cold too. <clears throat> Anyways, I um, just got back. It's the end of the day. And I thought I would share with you guys, you know, they have an exhibit hall here with a lot of samples. I thought I would share with you all some of the stuff that I picked up. Um, that was, uh, you know, just from the, from the exhibit hall. You guys seem to enjoy seeing this type of thing. So first up, I got a little pouch from CeraVe and within the pouch, I already mentioned that this bad boy was a real helper last night with my, I had a little bout of itch. This is CeraVe's Itch Relief Moisturizing Lotion. It's really good. It has Promoxin in it, which is very cooling and helps distract the discomfort of itch. So I like that. It's fragrance free and it also has their ceramide mixture in it. And then also, as I mentioned, <clears throat> their foaming facial cleanser. This one's, this one's really nice. I don't find this to be drying whatsoever. And also their hydrating cleanser. This one is not foaming and it's a little bit more creamy and is also very nice if you don't like the foam. You all have heard me review these before, so I will just kind of go through quickly. Then some samples. They have an eye repair cream here that's a little silly. <laughs> um, and they also have eye creams that are really just whatever moisturizer you use on your face just put it around your eyes you don't need a separate eye cream it's, it's kind of silly i know i use the color science three in one tinted under eye thing but i mostly just like that product because of the applicator and i like it for touching up sun tinted sunscreen throughout the day and i really like the look of the color science one so that's why i like that but otherwise there's no need to have some separate gimmicky eye cream with a bunch of like silly ingredients like stem cell factors, please. Um, okay, and then CeraVe also, <clears throat> I also got their um, day cream. This is their SPF 30. It is a combination sunscreen, zinc octane oxide, and it also has uh, their ceramides in it. It has hyaluronic acid. This one is a little pricey. And then it has their encapsulated retinol in it. I'm not so confident in the encapsulated retinol as far as its stability throughout the day, particularly if you wear it outside as this would be intended to with the SPF 30. I don't know how stable that retinol is going to be. But they claim that, that it is encapsulated in such a manner that it stays stable. Um, I like this okay. I don't know that I would rush out to buy it, but you guys asked me about it a fair amount. 
then I got some goodies from Avino as well. This is a favorite of mine. It's their eczema therapy balm. They have a, one of these uh, marketed towards adults, which I have here, and then they have one marketed towards babies, but they're pretty much the same thing. This is really nice. Um, it's like a um, thick, well, I won't take the, the lid off, but it's, it's sort of like a balm, I guess, <laughs> consistency. It's very nice. Colloidal oatmeal. And I believe this also has ceramides in it, I want to say. I could be wrong on that. But this actually works really well on the face. They, you know, they, they, they don't make that claim, but I have tried it on my face, and it works really well. Um, very good for sensitive skin, and also very good if you're just going through, like, kind of the peeling either of topical retinoids, like tretinoin, or oral retinoids, like Accutane. It can be really helpful. Then I got their Ultra Hydrating Calming Cleanser. And then I got two sunscreens from Avino as well. Their Daily Moisturizer, which you all know I really enjoy. The Ultra Calming one. This one is fragrance free. It is a uh, mineral exclusive sunscreen. It does have quite a bit of a cast associated with it, which you all are aware of. But I like it, and it's a good drugstore mineral exclusive sunscreen. You can get it to blend into the skin pretty well and it's moisturizing, fragrance free. Then their um, uh, chemical sunscreen, the Avino Positively Radiant, I wish they would leave the fragrance out of this because the fragrance in this is really, really somehow strong. I don't know, I can't tolerate this one. This stings around the eyes a fair amount in my experience, but what is nice about this is that it has their um, soy complex in it, which I swear when I use the night cream version of this, I do see a brightening effect. It's a really good drugstore, drugstore brightener um, and, you know, affordable. And then from Elta, I got another UV clear sunscreen. I love their UV clear sunscreen. It's what I'm currently wearing and brought with me on this trip. So now I have another one. And I got another one of the UV sports they were giving out. This is my favorite, uh, more affordable one in their line. This is a water resistant uh, combination sunscreen. Blends in the skin really well, very hydrating, not greasy and is ph phenomenal. And then I've never tried their So Silky hand cream. To me, the whole benefit in the Elta MD, sun Elta MD line is their, is their sunscreen. There's no reason to go investing in a more, in a pricier moisturizer um, whatsoever. I mean, a basic fragrance-free drugstore moisturizer, generic brands equate all more than fine. You don't need to shell out the big bucks for for fragrance free moisturizer. I don't I don't recommend spending your money in that manner. Then I got um, this is a company that I like quite a bit. DHS or PC PC um, Pearson and Covey Inc. They make a variety of they're kind of they're similar to a lot of the Vanny Cream products. They make fragrance free skincare products that are eczema friendly. This is their Zinc Pyrithione um, Dandruff Shampoo. It is two percent Zinc Pyrithione versus like Head and Shoulders is one percent. This is phenomenal for dandruff, for seborrheic dermatitis. You lather it up on the skin as a face wash, let it sit on there, and then rinse it off. It's also wonderful for tinea versicolor. Lather it on the body, let it sit on the skin for a while, and then rinse it off. And this is. 2%, so a slightly higher percentage strength than, than your typical head and shoulders, fragrance free, and oh no, this one has fragrance in it, darn, it's really hard to find a fragrance free shampoo, ugh, Vanny Cream makes a fragrance free anti-dandruff shampoo though, so I guess Vanny Cream does you one better. In the vein of anti-dandruff shampoos, here you can see is good old fashioned head and shoulders, this is 1% zinc pyrithione, I got a little sample of him. Then from PC, Pearson and Covey, I also got their Soul Bar Zinc. This is a combination sunscreen, blends into the skin really well. Then I also got their Moisturizing Lotion. This is also fragrance free. I frequently um, recommend this and uh, as do many of my colleagues to like people who are peeling on tretinoin. This is really good as just a face moisturizer, to be honest. And then their Aquanil Cleanser. This has, um, uh, this is just purified water gl glycerin. It's a very gentle cleanser. It will take your makeup off very gently. It's also fine as a body wash. It's a soap, you know, like a soap free, um, uh, deter uh, you know, very gentle cleanser. And um, 
you know, it's really nice for sensitive skin. So I'll be excited to try that. I've never tried it myself. Then Head and Shoulders came out with their version of Cells and Blue. It does, it contains fragrance and it contains peppermint oil to tingle and methyl chloroisothiazinolone. So if you're allergic to that, do know that. But the selenium sulfide in this is the active anti-dandruff ingredient. Just like zinc pyrithione shampoos can be used, selenium sulfide shampoos can likewise be used and both are effective. Neither one seems to really be any, any jazzier than the other as far as dandruff, tinea versicolor, seborrheic dermatitis. Then from Neutrogena, I got a sample of their sheer, full-size bottle of their sheer zinc. This is not sheer, okay? It does leave a pretty, pretty noticeable film, but I would say it is, it is a little better, it is better to me than than the ordinary, but kind of similar. So do know that, but it's really good. Just zinc, very good for sensitive skin. Got the, got the eczema association stamp of approval on there. Then from DML, um, then from Pearson and Covey, I also got this DML Forte. This is a superior moisturizing cream for hands, face, and body with panthenol in it. So I'll be excited to give that a try it at some point. This one is a glycerin-based moisturizer, very nice. I swashed a little on my hand. They also have an everyday face, face moisturizer that is a chemical sunscreen, SPF 25, uh, but it's pretty nice, nicely formulated. Otherwise, just as like a, as an everyday facial moisturizer. But probably one of my favorite uh, Pearson Covey products is their um, Solbar 30 water resistant gel, alcohol gel based sunscreen. Alcohols in skincare products are okay, they can be a little drying, but they're a constituent of gel vehicles. And sometimes you want somewhat drying vehicles, particularly in hair bearing areas such as the scalp, the beard. This is a phenomenal sunscreen for those areas. If you are a man or woman who is thin, whose hair is thinning and you, you really need a little bit more sunscreen and diligent sunscreen application than um, you once did with a full head of hair where you're getting a little bit of SPF, this is a really good one because it will just, you can just massage it into the scalp. It does not it does not leave any sort of deposit on the hair shaft, does not leave the hair feeling greasy or anything like that. I mean, you put gels in your hair and your scalp styling gels. This is kind of kind of a similar aesthetic. You can also use it in the beard area and with no problem. So it's good for men with thick beards because you, you guys out there who, who watch my channel, you've, you've commented that a lot of sunscreens leave those white uh, deposits on your beard that make it look like you've got dandruff or something. This is a really good choice. It is the Soul Bar 30, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, it's a chemical sunscreen, uh, but you know, for that area, this, this, is, this is a really nice formulation. It's kind of like a lot of the Japanese um, sunscreens that are in, in gel-based vehicles. Really nice aesthetics. Then I also got a razor, the Gillette Fusion 5, although I don't really have much in the way of a shaving needs. If I could recommend one cosmetic procedure to those of you out there, it would be a laser hair removal. It has just made a world of difference in my life. Fun story, I, got, I, I did my own laser hair removal uh, several years ago, along with some of my colleagues I enlisted for a little help in, in difficult areas. But, oh my goodness, I really don't have to shave my legs. You, you know, I used to have to shave my legs and my ar underarms every single day. Otherwise, I would have that shadow, that cast. And I can go an entire week without shaving my legs. I, I do grow regrow the baby hairs, as I mentioned in my laser hair video. I do gr regrow some, some fine hairs. You know, it, didn't, it, does, it didn't, doesn't leave you completely bald. But I cannot shave my legs and quote, grow out the hair on my legs and still walk around in shorts and it not be noticeable. Whereas before I was like a Yeti, okay? So if I could recommend one cosmetic procedure that, I mean, I obviously didn't pay for it, I did it myself, but it was totally worth it. And really, really, I mean, I don't, I don't have the degree of shaving needs anymore whatsoever. So highly recommend it. But I got one of these Gillette Fusion razors as well. 
then from La Roche Posay, I also got their Lipicare Balm Intense Moisturizing Repair Cream (AP) Lipid Replenishing Cream up to 48 hours of hydration. Clinically shown to reduce dry, rough skin. I think the CeraVe though is better than this personally, but this is a nice one, and I'm I was happy to just get it because um, I have never really given it a good try. And then I got their Silly Thermal Spring Water Spray. They get they gave this to me, but these are kind of these are kind of goofy in my opinion. And then I got um, a sample. You guys always ask me what detergents are good. All Free and Clear is a great one. So I got a sample of that. And I got a sample of who, which one is this? This is another one. The Tide. This looks like a, like a trifecta here. Tide Free and Gentle, Downy Free and Gentle, and Bounce Free and Gentle. Personally, I don't use fabric softener or dryer sheets. Um, because we don't really have a whole lot of static with the humidity in Houston, but when I lived in Colorado, I used dryer sheets. Um, and then the laundry detergent pods. So, got those. But, yeah, that's just a quick little haul of everything that, that I got. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. But, anyways, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you liked it. And if so, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.